What is going on everyone? I know, I know, no cool intro today. Uh, I just did not feel like vlogging until now, and it's already like four o'clock. So the last time I vlogged, which was Sunday, today's Thursday, uh, nothing much has been going on this week besides editing uh, my last video and then having meetings with bodybuilding.com. So I have a lot going on with bodybuilding.com in the month of December. I'm pretty much gonna be living in Boise that whole time. So right now we're trying to work out all the details and actually Shelby is gonna be flying down there uh, with me to come visit visit over like a weekend and stuff to bring Brady to come see me because I'll be out there until right before Christmas. So it's a lot going on. Right now, I'm about to head to the gym. I also got a new package in from Muscle Tech. They have some new supplements that came out, so I wanna show you what I got over there. Before I show you that, let me show you something else. I just received a text from my sister. So this is apparently her new uh, boyfriend and we found out over text. I don't know what I'm expecting really. I mean a phone call or something, I don't know. But she texted uh, the whole group of my family and sent us photos and she's at college. So for any of y'all that don't know, I'm one of 12 brothers and sisters, so tons of us. And this particular sister is in college and so she sent out a text and she says, hey guys, so I have news. So you'll be meeting this guy over Thanksgiving and winter break and I'm sure you guys are gonna love him. Oh gosh, so we're meeting a new guy that uh, she's apparently dating. I've never seen any photos of this guy before and I have to find out how long she's been dating this person. This is the only way that I can use Shelby as a tripod is if Brady's sitting here right beside me. This kid cries anytime you set him down. He's like a ticking time bomb. Just any second now, he's just gonna start crying. So we gotta hurry this up. Let me show you the products that I got in the mail from Muscle Tech. Uh, Amino Build Revolution. I've had this before. Uh, I got some different flavors. This is Amino Build with just some energy uh, caffeine in it. So I'll give you a little bit of energy. This is strawberry lemonade. Brady, calm down. It's okay, Brady. It's okay. Hey, buddy. <laughs> and then I also got uh, something that sounded really good. It's called fruit candy. I'm really looking forward to that. And then have uh, another one which is white raspberry freeze. So this is gonna replace my pre-workout right now. I'm still not on pre-workout, so I just want about 100 milligrams of caffeine. That's what this stuff has in it. And then BCAs, like I said. Then they came out with a new product, Celtech Next Gen. This is a creatine product. So I'm gonna be swapping my Hyper Build out with this one for a little while. And this uh, flavor sounded amazing, doesn't it? It's the Extreme Gummy Worm flavor. Uh, and they had another gummy worm pre-workout, which tasted amazing. Hey, buddy. Hey, you want some products? Yes. You like muscle tech? <laughs> okay. And then I got uh, their new pre-workout, Vapor One. This is one of their most potent pre-workouts that I've seen anyways. This thing has 350 milligrams of caffeine. He is amazed with this. Uh, this is the Rainbow Fruit Candy. Rainbow Fruit Candy, Brady which sounded amazing again. They're coming out with all kinds of new flavors uh, with like candy flavors and stuff that just sound amazing. And then I got a keto Keep product. <gasps> Keep your head up, Brady. Then I got a keto product. This is for if you're on keto or lower carbs. It has like sodium in it and kind of gets you into ketosis a little bit faster is what I hear. I've never used one of these before. Uh, keto is really in right now. And then got some more protein powder. This is a whey isolate gold, uh, brand new. Uh, and then got some clear muscle, uh, muscle builder. And then of course had to restock on my protein candy bars, the grunt protein bars, my favorite protein bars. And that's all the products I received. Uh, so yeah, Brady, what one do you want to take? You want to take a pre-workout? Yeah. You want to get hyped up? <laughs> hey, buddy. So Brady has been doing pretty good about sleeping at night. Last night was the best night so far. He slept for like five hours straight and then woke up. She fed him and stuff and then went back to bed until seven o'clock. That was the first time he's ever done that. So we're very blessed there. Now the sleep training thing that we were talking about doing with the book, we told his doctor that we were trying to do that and then she threw that out the window. <laughs> She said, absolutely not. You can't start sleep training a baby until like eight to 10 weeks old and he's only like six weeks. So she said, don't even try it. 
So we pretty much just got rid of that and just letting him sleep whenever he wants to and so trying to keep him up throughout the day a little bit at least uh, because we do find that if he sleeps throughout the day the whole day then at night he will not sleep and a lot of the times you read online that that's not the case but I'm telling you from experience that is so much the case. So Shelby ordered him a lot of clothes on Amazon. We need to have a little uh, clothing haul for Mr. Brady. He needs to try on everything that he uh, received and I should show y'all on this vlog. He looks so cute with all the stuff. She's got him like four different beanies. So he's all ready for winter. So before I go to the gym, I wanna to talk to you about something. Uh, vlogging and how expensive it is to do it. Now, first off, it doesn't have to cost you a lot because a lot of the times you can just use like your iPhone and your phones because they take really good video now. A lot of them take 4K. But at the same time, you want the best quality you can have because right now YouTube is oversaturated. There is tons of people doing it. And I think to actually stand out, you have to have high quality. And so that is why I invest into my YouTube channel. I have really good cameras, I have mics, I have lenses, uh, I have you know multiple cameras. And I wanna show you what exactly I have and what it takes and how expensive it is to actually do this. So first off, what I'm filming on right now, it's called the GH5, it's a Panasonic GH5. H5. That camera will run you right around like $2,000. Then I have a mic on it, it's the Rogue uh, Pro Mic, and it's right at like $250. And then when I'm out and about, I normally film on this little camera right here. This is the Canon G7X. I just have the first version. I've been meaning to get the second one, but the reason why I haven't gotten the second version of this one is because I know right when I get the second version, the third one's gonna come out, and the second one does not have 4K yet, and this one doesn't as well. Uh, but I'm kind of waiting for that third version because I'm hoping that that one has 4K. And then with this camera, I have two lenses. I have a Olympus lens on here. This is a wide angle. And this one runs you right at like $13 to $1,400. And then I have a Panasonic lens, a 12 to 35. This one is the lens that I record all my workouts on because it will zoom in a good bit. Now the reason why I like shooting with the GH5 over the Sony's and the Canon's because it has a flip out screen and this one will do 4K, it will do 1080 slow-mo and it has everything on it. Now I just made a big order on Amazon because of memory. So if you do a lot of editing, of course you have to have external hard drives because my MacBook won't hold all that much and I use tons of memory. I have maybe four external hard drives sitting on my desk and it's right at like 15 TBs of storage and I just ordered another one like six TBs and just for the hard drive it was right at like $350 and then I also had to order a new memory card for this GH5 because in my last vlog uh, it kept cutting off on me because it, the card is not fast enough and just for an SD card it was like $95 and that's not even the top one. The top ones were like $200 and I could not see spending that and then I also had to buy some new batteries for this. So vlogging is not necessarily cheap but like I said you can get away with it at first with cell phones and cameras like cheaper cameras but a lot of the times you want to stand out so that is why I like to invest into this YouTube channel. And of course you have to throw in the price of your editing software so I have a MacBook Pro and that thing cost me right at like three thousand dollars and I use Final Cut Pro uh, that cost me I think two to four hundred dollars uh, I use Final Cut Pro over Premiere because Premiere they charge you each month which is cheaper it seems like but Final Cut Pro you're able to buy it so you just pay it all up front and you have that software. Uh, Premiere they just charge you each month so over years and years it's going to cost you more to actually use Premiere and I find that Final Cut Pro is a little bit easier to use. What is going on everyone? Hope you're all having a great day. I know it's another arm day. I hope you don't mind because uh, you know I just posted one maybe two videos back but when I start vlogging for whatever reason it always happens to be on an arm day recently. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this workout. I started off with a preacher curl. Well not really a preacher curl. It's kind of like a dead hang curl because you know a preacher curl is more on an incline bench. This one uh, this bench is just straight up and down and I did seven sets of these for 10 to 12 reps, only resting for around 45 seconds in between sets, then moved on to easy bar curls. I did four sets 
of eight to ten reps so pretty heavy and then on the last set did a double drop set so just going as heavy as I could go uh, for this particular exercise because this one was gonna be like the compound movement of the workout uh, this workout I did not superset uh, biceps and triceps the last workout you saw I, I was supersetting them back to back but this one I focused on all biceps first and then moved on to triceps later on in the workout uh, after the preacher curls or the dead hang curls went into a uh, slight incline bench so this one just a little bit higher than a 45 uh, incline and I did alternating uh, dumbbell curls I did four sets of around uh, 8 to 10 reps uh, and then I did another set that you did not see because I did not record. The gym was packed this night for whatever reason. And all I did was standing dumbbell curls alternating and I ran the rack. So I just was doing standing and I would go to failure on each arm, just drop the weight by uh, 5 pounds, go at it again until I went down to the 15 pound dumbbells. And then the last exercise was blood flow restriction hammer curls with the rope. and. What I did, I did seven sets again uh, for uh, 12 to 15 reps, so just burning it out. And the blood flow restriction, you have a band on your arm, wrapped up on your arm, as high up as you can go on your arm. And you want the tightness to be a 6 or 7 out of 10 tightness. And it's really about trying to get as much blood into that muscle as possible. So that's it for biceps. Went on to triceps next and started with seven sets of 10 to 12 reps uh, with the rope push downs. Resting again for only around 45 seconds in between uh, each set and this one's just trying to get as much blood into the muscle as possible get my uh, joints warmed up for uh, You know like the more compound movements and then went into close grip uh, bench press for triceps and I warmed up to 225 this is the 225 set but my shoulder started to kill me so that's why I set up the weight here set it down for a second rested try to roll out my shoulder a little bit and go at it again and I was not able to get up to 225 pounds uh, because my shoulders were killing me so what I had to do was actually go down and weight to about 185 pounds to be able to get four sets of uh, 10 reps uh, most of the time uh, close grip bench press I'm able to get 225 for an easy 10 but it was killing me with shoulders so I just had to let my ego go and just go down to weight so this is the 185 and then uh, go for uh, those 10 reps those four sets of 10 reps uh, when I was younger I was able to go really close like uh, in or incline close grip I was able to bring my hands in a lot closer together but now that I'm like older my wrists start to hurt a whole lot so I don't go you know really close in now I just make sure that my elbows are close to my side when I'm doing close grip uh, bench press after all those went into dips and as you can see I pause when I go down just for a split second and then I pause when I'm up at that top of that rep and I did four sets of 10 reps uh, just going down pausing and then back up pause down pause up pause and that's uh, when you add like a second pause to any kind of exercise up at the top and bottom it makes that work or that exercise a whole lot harder to do uh, because it's more time under tension and then the last exercise for triceps was an overhead uh, rope uh, extension and I did seven sets of these for 10 to 12 reps to finish out the workout this workout I actually got from bodybuilding.com it was an FST 7 program but of course I uh, added some drop sets and supersets and they didn't have uh, biceps with triceps you were supposed to work triceps in a different workout but you know of course I had to get them all at once but guys uh, if you want to follow this workout it will be all written down in the description box hope you enjoyed the rest of the video thank you so much for watching Back home from the gym, and now I'm going to try this new creatine, the Celtech uh, Next Gen Creatine on camera because it's the first time trying it, and it sounds so good. Extreme gummy worm. So I got about uh, 10 ounces of water. I'm not sure how much. Six ounces of water, so I need to drink some of that. It's not going to be as good. Okay. Six ounces of water. Give this stuff a try. That's a big scoop for creatine.
That's good. That is really good. Extreme, so it's got like a kind of sour taste to it. The other gummy worm, like the pre-workout they have, it doesn't have a sour taste to it. But this kind of has a sour taste, but it's really, really good. All right, so I did not have my bowl of cereal that I normally have after a workout, and it's an arm day, so I'm gonna have lower carbs. So I'm just gonna save all my carbs for dinner because it is already 7.45, and we're gonna have steak tonight. So I have these two gigantic steaks uh, that I'm gonna cook up for me and Shelby. Uh, I'm thinking just some rice, uh, steak, and maybe some kind of vegetable to go with it. I'm gonna have probably around seven or eight ounces of steak, so plenty of protein. I'm just gonna put it on here and cook it medium rare because I like it as rare as you can pretty much eat it besides raw. Some people like it where it's still like really just bleeding and stuff. I don't like it that raw, but seared on both sides, that's how you cook a steak. Having a baby is so hard to vlog and video because Shelby would be over here recording me, but she can't because Mr. Brady wants her to hold him at all times of the day. So I was gonna show you that I weigh all my food on a food scale. So I put it on there, just weigh it all out, and that way there's no air with my calories because a lot of the times people uh, just guess at their calories and stuff, and I don't do that. Year round, I will weigh my proteins, my carbs, my fats on a scale. Just makes it so much easier. That's how you cook a steak right there. Well, that looks so good. Okay, so this is a finished product. We have the steak, the rice, I have right at eight ounces of rice, green beans with some carrots in there, and a Coke Zero. So I'm done eating and now I'm back in the office because I want to go back to the topic that I was hitting on earlier and that is the quality of your videos and I don't want people watching this video thinking, okay, I can't afford expensive cameras, expensive lenses, so I can't do YouTube and I can't make good content. That is not the case. Believe me, it is more important to have good content than it is to have quality videos. If you have boring content but great quality video, no one's still gonna watch it. You have to have really good content. It is more important to have. Uh, when I was younger, I didn't have money to buy cameras. I didn't have money to buy laptops to edit on. And then back then, we didn't have real good phones that made good quality video. We didn't have 4K video in your just phone. I had one of those flip out Razer phones that did you know terrible quality video, so I could never video on that thing. So I didn't get started until later on in the game, and I wish I would have started earlier if I would have just bought like a cheap camera, but I didn't start until I was able to afford a pretty expensive camera, and then I was like, okay, now I can get started. I wish I would have started way before when it was less people on YouTube, because at the time when I was getting started, uh, YouTube was not oversaturated in the fitness industry. But now, it is so oversaturated that you have to have something to stand out to actually grow. I'm not saying you can't grow, it is just harder to be on YouTube now to find your niche. So I would suggest starting on your phone before you spend thousands of dollars because who knows, you might not even like uh, videoing, you might not like editing because I love doing this stuff. And you have to understand again, that I do this full time. So all the equipment that I buy, I get paid to do social media. So all the mics, the lenses, the laptops, and all that stuff, I have to buy all this stuff because that is my job. If I didn't have quality stuff, uh, my channels would not grow and I could not do my social media stuff. So if you're new to it, you don't have to buy all this stuff. It's not that important. Your content, making really good content, is way more important. And then of course, later on, when more people start to watch you and you get older where you can buy stuff, you can afford uh, more expensive uh, cameras and laptops and stuff, yeah, you can up the quality. But believe me, it is more about the content. Because when I first got started like years back again, my videos were so boring and hardly anyone watched them. And I understand now, like I went back like a year ago and watched my old videos and I was like, oh my gosh, 
they're just so boring. They took so long for me to do anything and it was not like very fast paced and it was not funny. And now I make videos that I would want to watch personally. I think my vlogs are funny. I think I try to give out good content where you can learn stuff. And that is what I try to put out there. So I try to put out stuff that I personally would want to watch. So that's my advice to anyone that's wanting to get started on YouTube or vlogging, uh, just to get started on a phone and then just worry about content. So now I'm sitting in the den, throwing the toy with Gaynor and Shelby's over here rocking Mr. Brady because every time you stop giving him attention, he yells like he's doing right now. And we're watching a stupid football game. It's like 51 to 15 or 14. And so it's not much of a game. So we're talking about what to watch tonight. We pretty much finished the whole thing of The Office, but one episode is the last episode and I don't wanna watch it. And we got to the last episode like a week ago and every single night I put it off because I'm like, I just don't wanna watch it. I'm one of those people that watch like the last episode at any TV show, it does not matter, like Friends or anything. I don't even have to be really involved with the TV show, but when I know that people spent like years of their life on a TV show and that's the last episode, it really makes me super sad. So I don't wanna watch the last episode of The Office. I might not ever watch it, who knows? Two hours later. So we ended up not watching any of The Office. I promise I'll watch the last episode at some point. We just watched something completely different. Uh, tomorrow, nothing much gonna be going on. Tomorrow's Friday. Uh, I think we're gonna go get Shelby a new phone. She's been wanting a new phone. She has the iPhone, I think, 7, right? Mm -hmm. iPhone 7, and so she needs to update her phone so she can get better pictures of Mr. Brady and video. So she's been begging to go uh, to AT&T to get her phone. So I think that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. And we're trying to figure out when she's gonna be coming down to visit me in Boise. I think we got it all figured out. She's gonna be coming over the weekend when I have time off because uh, during the week, I'm gonna be doing tons of stuff, filming a lot of stuff and I don't want her coming in and just sitting there at the house. They're actually getting me a house this time. I'm not gonna be staying at a hotel, so it's gonna be a nice Airbnb. Looking forward to that because it's gonna be so much better than staying at a hotel for like two weeks. Uh, but guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, and I will see y'all next time. All right, guys, peace. Boring content, but great, but great. <laughs>